With iOS 11, the iPad is getting one of its biggest upgrades ever, and for the first time, it's significantly different than on other iOS devices, and Apple's hope is that this will make it easier to use as a dedicated computer. Now, when you first boot it up, you'll notice the dock. It's available at any time, you just swipe up from the bottom, you don't have to be on the home screen, and the dock on the right will show you your frequently used apps, and on the left side, you can add your apps just like you normally would. Now, this dock is what makes multitasking possible. You still have split view and slide over like before, but they work a bit differently. So now when you have an app open and you want to add a second, you swipe up on the dock and then drag whichever app you'd like onto the screen and now you're running two apps. You can do this in either the split view mode or the slide over and you can even run three apps at one time. Also now with multitasking, when you're in split view and say you go home, now when you go back into the app, your split view session is still there. You don't have to reinitiate it. And now the app switcher and control center are in the same place. So you can see all of the apps you're using as well as the controls for your device. Now this is also available thanks to the drag and drop feature, which is also new in iOS 11. Drag and drop works just as you would hope. It works with images, text, links, and you can do it between apps. So if you want to move some images, you just drag it, and then you can also select with other fingers to grab even more, and then you drag it to wherever you'd like, drop it, and there it is, it is transferred over. This works extremely well, for instance, on the web, you can just drag images, you could drag links, you could drag text, and it all is seamless. Now, another big addition to iOS 11 is the Files app. This is available on the iPhone as well, but on the iPad, it really shines. Here you can see all of the documents and files that you have on your iPad, and you can also see the ones that are in iCloud Drive and other third-party services like Dropbox. In the Files app, you can make folders, you can add things into folders, move them around. It works very similar to a traditional file system. And this, of course, is one of the biggest holdbacks when moving over from a desktop, but now with Files in iOS 11, it makes it that much easier. Now, there are also some other improvements, specifically with the Apple Pencil. Now you have instant markup. Now when you take a screenshot or you have a PDF, you can very easily write on the screen and send it off. And there's also something called instant notes. So when you're on the lock screen, you just tap your Apple Pencil on the screen, the notes app appears and you can instantly start writing. There's also inline drawing support. So if you're on mail or you're in notes and you wanna draw in between some text or other images, you can easily do that and the text will format around it. Also, there's a document scanner built right into notes. And when typing, the QuickType keyboard has an update to flick down for different characters. So if you wanna access your numbers or your punctuation, you don't have to go into a separate keyboard. You just do it right on the main keyboard and you just flick down. Now, each of these features on their own are not necessarily major updates, but when you put them all together, it makes using the iPad Pro a much more desktop-like experience, which is exactly what Apple is going for. These features specific to the iPad and the ones that are coming to the iPhone as well will be available in iOS 11 in the fall. Right now it's currently in beta, so we may see changes, so be sure to stay tuned to MacRumors.com for any updates on that. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors and I'll see you next time.